Hello and welcome to my channel. It's got a mushroom for you to fishing. As I mentioned in my previous video, today I want to talk to you about these bad boys. The deadly Galavino. These are a bit older, uh, which I found yesterday. And I kept them in the fridge overnight. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to talk about these and uh, especially because of the confusion to a couple of other nice edible ones. Right. Well, yeah, that we're gonna rhino or funeral bell. Uh, there are a lot of mushroom hunters in Europe which are collecting the, she the sheathed wood tuft or other name for it is the brown stew fungus, the Nameco and the velvet chink. And especially with this one and the brown stew fungus, there is hardly any difference. Right, let's start. So basically the funeral bell has like an okra cap and apart, well, this is already older one. So like uh, okra, okra gills, uh, tightly spaced with some in between gills, uh, free from the stem, and they get so like rusty brown as the spores come through. Uh, as the spore print is like a brown color. Then the rings are already gone. With age the ring can fall off. They're very fragile. And also it can have like what looks like s s silver silver splotches or silvery color on the stem. The stem is smooth. And so now with the brown stew fungus uh, it's also called the bicolor one because the uh, top of the cap is lighter than the outside but it's not always pronounced so hence there is a, is a good chance of confusion misidentification then then the, the gills on the stew fungus starts with like an ochre color but as they mature they can get into a cinnamon color so again darker so you always can confuse them there uh, now the most important uh, and also the spore print from the brown stew fungus is the starts like ochre to cinnamon color so it's also dark so so the most important part for ID between the two of them is the stem. Again, it's possible for the stew fungus to lose the ring. So above the ring, if if the ring is about here from the stew fungus, the top above the ring is smooth, the same as here, but below the ring it's a scaly rough stem which has no silver on it uh, silver or whitish and that's the main difference to hold them two apart so there's a lot of deaths occurred over the years of the misidentification between the two of them there are a couple of other mushrooms which could be similar is the Nameco and the Velvet Chink or virtually any brown brown uh, kept mushroom. Uh, I personally only collect the Velvet Chink, not the brown stream fungus because I think it's too close to comfort. With the Velvet Chink there are some differentials in, in the in the gills print and the stem so I have more more ideas to compare them to 
So, yeah, that's why it's called funeral bell. Because uh, tw 20, small, 20 small ones of these will send you to Valhalla. Or not Valhalla, you end up on machines because it will destroy your kidneys and your liver. Very, very, very strong poisonous. And, but the thing is, you won't feel it till about a few days after. I mean, light poisonous mushrooms will, you will, will show up in about two to four hours, but this one can take days. And then, all of a sudden you feel better for, for a day or two and then that's it it's game over or as they say your fight is over so yeah if you collect uh, brown stem fungus because they can grow in the same habitat they do prefer to grow on uh, colorful trees pine trees uh, fir trees they, they, that's their preferable habitat, but they do can grow on the same habitat as the other edible ones as well. And they can even can grow in the, in the same log. So if you do collect them, the good edible ones, you got to check each and every single one. So I hope you found it useful. hope it will help you with your ideas and uh, mushroom foraging. And uh, if you've got any comments, then please let me know, either in the comments below or on Facebook. And I wish you all the best. Stay safe and enjoy your mushroom hunting. See you later. Bye-bye.